Is this thing on? Cool. Hello there, this is John Locke from Lockdown Design. Today I want to talk with you for just a few minutes about the role of user experience in SEO. When it comes to SEO, there are two things that, that make the greatest impact. The first being the content on your site, how helpful it is to your customers. The second would be the quality of the backlink profile uh, to your site. That would be other sites that link into your site. But I think there's a third one that doesn't get nearly enough attention and that's the overall user experience. When we talk about user experience or UX, that really covers a lot of different things. Here's some of the things that I think really fall underneath that. So at the bare minimum, your site needs to be mobile friendly. Pretty much everybody on earth has a mobile phone. In fact, there's more mobile devices than there are people on the face of the earth. True fact, go look it up. If your website is not mobile friendly at this point, Google just figures you're not serious about ranking and you really don't care about your customers, so there's no reason for them to rank you. Another thing that really falls under UX is site speed, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in the next video. Your site doesn't need to be the fastest site on the planet, but the faster that you can make your site, the better it's going to be for you. Site speed by itself is not going to be a substitute for having good content on your site and having a decent amount of links coming into your site. You need to be at least as fast as your competitors. And again, we'll talk more about that in the next video. The, the most all-encompassing way that I can describe user experience is your site delivering what people came there to find and how easily can they find what they're looking for on your website with the least amount of friction and how pleasant is it overall. So a lot of things go into user experience. The way your site is structured, meaning how many clicks do people need to go through to find what they're looking for. The way your URL structure is laid out and a lot of people call that content siloing. It's basically, is your site organized in a way that it's easy for people to find what they're looking for? Another thing that's important, and I've written about this on my site, is the design of your site. How pleasant is it for people to be on your site? I think a lot of purist web designers misconstrue what this means, and they think it has more to do with copying what's trendy in web design and having things fly in and out from every corner or having designs that closely mimic what's trending in the world of web design right now. To me it's a lot more holistic and it really comes down to a few things. If I'm on my laptop, if I'm on my phone, can I read the site easily? Meaning are the fonts that are legible size? Are you using a legible font? Is there enough contrast between the text and the background for me to read what's on the screen? Can I do everything that I need to do on the mobile version of the site without having to go to the desktop version? Basically, can I achieve everything that I need to do on the mobile version of the site? Design plays a role. Do I feel confident in your company being on this site. And what I mean by that is, does this website reflect the professionalism that you want your brand to project? Breaking that down, does your site look like it was last designed in 1998? Or does it look like it was designed somewhat recently? I'm not saying that you need to redesign your site like every year. The design cycle of most websites that I see is somewhere between two and four years. You want your site to continually be improving. Design is part of that. The way that people find information on your site is part of that as well. Making sure that the content that you're creating for your customers is very easy to find on your site. Basically, it's just making sure that your site is more than an online brochure, making sure that people can find everything that they possibly need on your site and the experience is as pleasant as possible, whether they're on their phone, whether they're on their desktop, uh, whether they're on a laptop or an iPad or what have you, just making sure that you're taking care of their needs. The longer that people stay on your site and the more pages that they browse on your site, not only the more likely are you to convert them into a paying customer, but, but Google actually sees that 
if you've got Google Analytics installed on your site. And they see that as a sign that people are satisfied that they're actually on your site and they're finding what they need. If you have an SEO question that you'd like us to answer, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is John Locke. My website is LockdownDesign.com. We help manufacturing companies, industrial companies, blue collar companies get more organic search traffic, SEO.